Hey guys, in this lecture I will explain you all about static keyword. Now many times you might have seen that many methods and classes, constructors etc are all marked as static methods, static classes or static constructors. So in this lecture I will try to explain why do we need static keyword. So let's go through our slides first. Now the fields, properties and methods of a class can be either instance member or static members. Now most of, in my most of the examples which you have paused previously you might have noticed that I used to create a object of a class and then call a member. So all these methods were methods and members were instance members. They were not static members. So all methods are instance methods unless you explicitly mark them with static keyword. And methods or fields marked by static keyword belong to classes, not to the instances. So the moment you mark the methods as static, they are not instance methods. That means you cannot create an object of the class and call that method. You can call that method directly with the help of class name. So let's see an example and let's move to Visual Studio. So I have a program class and a main method. So you might have seen that every time we needed to uh, write something onto console, we use the console class. So we write it to the console using console dot write line. Okay, and you have, uh, you have noticed you might have noticed it again and again in my all the lectures. Same goes with the console dot read line. Now imagine these write line and read line methods are instance methods okay therefore each time we need to call this write line and uh, read line methods we need to create a object of console class so let's first look into the definition of console class let's go to the definition and let's scroll down to get a write line method here it comes this is a static method of console class the write line method see writes the current line terminated to standard output stream and that uh, that's what we do when we use write line method just see it's a static method and all of the overloads of write line methods are static methods so we don't need to create an instance of our console class each time we need to call the write line method because it's a frequently used method and so we can call this console class as a utility class that means it helps us in in programming so that we don't need to create object each and every time we call the write line method so imagine if we have a very big application and we need to call call this write line method 100 times so we need to uh, create object of console class 100 times so it's better that we don't need to create a object so this console class is a static class so this is the use of static methods there are scenarios where you need to be where you do not need to create object of classes each and every time so use static keyword mark those methods as static methods let's go back to our slides see uh, the last second point sometimes to some methods we do not want to create object of class since that method is used frequently hence we mark them as static methods for example the read line and write line methods of console class and static methods are shared that is they are shared across the application this write line and read line methods are shared by each and every classes so you don't have to create the object and you can you can directly access these methods with the help of console class name so this is a very easy example now sub, uh, let's uh, think in a practical mode right so let's uh, let me have a customer class in here and this customer class has two methods void by car okay and same i have similar method in here say service car okay imagine you are you are buying a car and you are uh, then uh, using the showroom services to service the car and you are the customer of that showroom or the company say it be it suzuki be it hyundai etc right so each time you will go for a servicing you 
the showroom will make a object that means you are a object of of my customer class right and then you will call the service car method that will service your car that means this is the object which represents you the moment you buy a car from a showroom or uh, service a car from a showroom you become a customer of that showroom that means you have a you have become a object of that uh, customer class for that showroom right now say suppose you are inquiring about cars say suppose you are planning to buy a car and you are visiting five or six showrooms per day right so each showroom will have a inquiry center also so that will the process the inquiry of all the customers okay but if say suppose you go to hyundai showroom and ask for a car inquiry have you become the customer of that showroom no you you have just inquired and came back same goes with some other showrooms also so you will go five or six showrooms and then come back and then make your decision which car you want to buy so do this ob showroom needs to create a object to get this inquiry done not really right so therefore i need to mark this method as static method that means showroom won't you won't become a customer of this showroom just for the inquiry right the moment you walk into showroom your query will be served immediately without you becoming the customer of showroom i hope this explains my point in a practical scenario why do we need static keyword right or static methods now since this is a class obviously uh, representing a customer it will have some fields with it so let me have two fields string name and string say car model now these fields go well with these two methods that means if a customer is buying car he will he will have a name and he will have a car model same goes with the service car if a customer comes to for servicing of car he will have a name and he will have a car model right but what about this inquiry method say suppose you went for inquiring the rate of interest what uh, for uh, for the loan you need to take for buying a car so i need to have a rate of interest field in here okay and let's make this inquiry method return a double so that it can tell you what what will be the loan amount you need to pay okay and let's have a implementation a pseudo implementation rather in here so don't go go on to the maths if my formula is wrong i'm just trying to explain you that if you go to inquire the amount of loan repayment it's just returning the rate of interest into the amount of loan say suppose you have taken 1 lakh loan so it will give you a rate of interest into 1 lakh loan okay fine so you see whatever be the implementation in this static method it gives me a error it says an object reference is required for the non static field method or property that means a static method cannot have a instance field please note it down so we have to make this as static field and how do we do this with the help of static keyword fine and the moment i do this uh, field as static my error has gone away so my inquiry method is uh, now returning a loan amount what that customer needs right now as you have seen uh, for initializing these fields you needed a constructor so let me have a constructor and that will initialize the fields okay i'm not going into the details because that's this will make my video long so just understand that to initialize these instance fields you need a instance constructor same goes for this static field also to initialize these static fields you will need a static constructor so i have static customer 
and then I will in initialize my static field inside this static constructor. Okay. For now, I have hard coded it, but for initialization code, you will write that initialization code to initialize static fields inside a static constructor. So basically, this is the purpose of static constructor to initialize the static fields. And what are the purpose of static fields? You need to use those fields inside a static methods. And what is the purpose of static methods? Whenever you don't need to create a object of the class, you need to use static methods on all the static fields, methods, properties, etc. are shared across the application. So let's move back to our slides. So here it comes a static constructor does not take access modifiers or have parameters. That's a very important point for your interviews. So you can see my static constructor cannot take any parameter. Say, suppose I need to write a parameter in here. It gives me an error says customer a static constructor must be parameterless. So my static constru uh, uh, constructor should always be parameterless. Also, you can see this is an instance uh, constructor. It has a access modifier, but my static constructor cannot have any access modifier. Also, excuse me error. Access modifiers are not allowed for static constructors. So this is a very important point regarding your interviews. Static constructor is used to initialize static fields. Static constructor is called automatically to initialize the class before the first instance is created or any static members are referenced. So static constructors fires before instance constructors. So let's look into uh, that into action. Say suppose I have an implementation in here for the instance constructor. It says I am instance constructor and then let's see in static constructor static constructor okay i am a static constructor let's run this application see which constructor fire first so let's start see i am static constructor i am instance constructor so static constructor is fired before instance constructor so before the uh, object creation static constructors fire so if you if anyone asks you what is a static constructor you can give a answer the static constructors are constructors which are used to initialize the static fields and they are fired before the object creation. Let's move back to our slides. A field marked as constant by const keyword is also a static field. And this is also a very good interview question. So you can also make this field rate of interest uh, as static by using const keyword. Okay. And then only difference being you need to provide a value for this field in here so you cannot have this value in here so you won't need a static constructor for initialization of this field so if a field is marked as constant that is also a static field but its value cannot be changed whereas static uh, fields value could be changed and they can initialize again and again in static constructor so I hope this clears the questions uh, surrounding static keyword. So let's move back to our slides. So here are the slides for you to note it down. That's it for this video. Thank you so much guys for listening. If you have any doubt, please leave a comment. and Please uh, remember to subscribe this channel. Thank you so very much. Before you go, please subscribe to my channel for interview preparation in C Sharp, WPF, WCF, SQL, Entity Framework, MBVM, Design Pattern, etc. For personal online training on C Sharp and WPF and for other queries, please contact .netschool at gmail.com.